This tutorial is going to look at a few ways to customize the AutoCAD interface. There are several reasons you might want to customize your interface, uh, one of which might be to show certain tools that uh, would help you complete a task in AutoCAD. Another might be to hide tools that are showing by default to maximize your workspace in your drawing. The first thing we're going to talk about is the ribbon up top. You'll notice that you have this icon here that allows you to cycle through uh, different ways to view the ribbon. Uh, one, uh, the one that I prefer is to collapse the ribbon entirely so that you only have the titles here. You still have access to all the uh, icons and buttons in the ribbon, but in a more streamlined manner. You can take the ribbon away completely by typing ribbon close, and to make it reappear, simply typing ribbon. Right above the ribbon is the menu bar. It includes file, edit, view, insert. If you wanted to take the menu bar away, you would simply type menu bar and enter the value 0. Now, occasionally, uh, folks will have their menu bar go away, and they'll want to find a way to actually restore this. And to do that, it's the same process, typing menu bar and then entering the value 1. In my case, I like to leave the menu bar up there and the ribbon collapsed all the way to just the titles. Now some really helpful tools are the classic toolbars. Uh, they've been around in AutoCAD for quite some time and a lot of people have a comfort level with them and like to use them. They're still very helpful and to bring those up you can type dash toolbar. It will prompt you to enter a toolbar name. Uh, the one that is very helpful for me when I'm working in paper space is viewports. So I'll type viewports and say show. And notice the view bar or the toolbar is just floating up here for the viewports. What I can do is actually dock this right here. Once you dock it, you'll notice that you've got this gray space to either side of your toolbar. This gives you even quicker access to all of your different toolbars available. I often like to have my layers toolbar here as well. And I also like to have my properties toolbar. I'll just arrange these up top. Occasionally I'll pull other toolbars, but these are three that I like to have. Now there are larger toolbars called managers, and sometimes you'll be using those. One in particular might be your layer manager. You'll open this up, and sometimes it'll already be docked off to the side, or sometimes it might be floating. Uh, and you can use one uh, of these options, just whatever fits your drawing the best. For me, I like to actually dock this over to the side. You'll notice that it'll shrink down your uh, model space view right here, which is fine, but I've got a full list of all of my layers in this drawing. Because this is a new drawing, I only have this one. There's also a button up here that will allow us to auto-hide our toolbar. Now we can just roll over this and it will make our layer manager appear, and as we move back into our drawing, it will actually pop back to the side. I tend to have this closed often, but some people prefer to have that one there as well. Properties is another one that you'll see people dock to the side of their model space view as well. Finally, the command line, which keeps track of all of your work, uh, is at the bottom of your drawing. Well, some people like to keep it here by default. I like to have a, a longer view of what I've been working on, and I will dock it to the bottom and then give myself a few different options here. Finally, one last thing that I like to do is I like my crosshairs to be large on the page, so I'll actually go to the Options menu here, go to Display, and crosshair size and bump this all the way up to 100. Now this is the interface I'm most often working with on my tutorials. Hopefully some of the tips on how to customize your AutoCAD interface will help you work more efficiently and effectively as you're working on projects 